Yeah. You about all right? Yeah. All right, two, to be alive by the county, Mr. Yahuwah. One more again. I thought all the uh, Danny Knights were well. They, nah, they, I thought I seen the paper. I don't know. One of them now. They'll start selling our kids. That's what happens when you get paid 20. Hard to keep them well. I tell you what, now with all this stuff going on between COVID and monkey pox and hooping cough back, these folks just got think polio back. Yeah, they name it up there. They just run out of stuff. They got to feel like if you can't die from COVID, they got to give you something else. They got to go in their bag of tricks and pull out something to take us out. So here we are. We stuck with this is the battlement we in. You know, these diseases are coming right back because they never cured them in the first place. That's the one reason why they always back. They just never report it. They don't act like it's nothing new. It's always been here. They just don't report it. That's the best way to do it, like crime in certain neighborhoods. It's down. White people got just as much crime in their neighborhood. Don't believe these people. I don't think every robber's stupid enough to keep robbing an important neighborhood. They robbing their neighborhood. You just don't have to report it. Just like abortion count. Everything white people do, you keep your numbers down. That's all you do. The officer get us and listen, we ain't got to even put this in. That's that walk off. You know what I'm saying? I go, go on your computer. Just put on that false alarm. You know what I'm saying? Now have to keep moving. Because those numbers hurt the property value. Domestic violence calls. See, y'all don't realize. See, a lot of stuff that so called Negro don't know. See, all this stuff had to be rated. So this is what white people looking at, looking for schools. Like these numbers in these schools, all they do is forge them. Yeah, the kids don't fail. You give them the answer. The kids ain't no smarter than you. They give them the answer. You think they send them kids, then all them kids just happen. They educate them so well, all their kids up and above it. No, you give them the answer. You teach, see, the difference with us, we had to teach us from nowhere to try to get someone. You keep testing them to see what they know when it's something they just learning. So, of course, you're not going to grasp the concept automatically. They tell them about the concept, and they teach them the answers to the concept. So when it's time to take the test, of course they know they look smarter than you. White people are not getting the same basis you get. That's why people move to put the, That's why they fight making it illegal for you to be in certain districts now. They got some parent, I think, having a show. They showed a clip where the mother's being a, she's got to go to jail. They're looking at about 20 years or something for putting her kid in that district, for falsifying her address to put her kid in that district. Now, these white folks don't play with y'all. They don't want you in there. Because you said that your kid going to learn, they going to run their mouth. I was talking to um, a gentleman one day at the lot. He had me up. It was a good talk, a good long while. But his kid wound up um, scoring really high on a test, and they wound up having to give a grant. Because you know you got to let so many blacks in so you don't look racist. Well, little girl, you know how she, you know she had to, you know she had to score off the Richter scale, right? She's off the Richter scale scoring. That's how she got into school. They bring judges there, but you know they they have a class where they teach them how to get out of everything. Listen, they teach them their legal right. They have a judge to teach them what their rights are. When they're pulled over, they let them know the whole dynamics of everything. That's how white people look. You're like, white people just jump out. White people say they know white people know the law. They ain't no white officers ain't stupid. They know they ain't stupid. They know those people been educated. You gonna run your mouth off something you seen out Judge Watman. He been dead. Judge do the do. They ain't even real judges. They just couldn't even judge a beauty contest. You know what I'm saying? Everybody ain't ugly. They couldn't judge it. So it's unfortunate that our people, no one's telling our people to just the just the butt naked truth about everything. They're not smart than you. That's all they do. They teach them the answers. They talk with them in a certain way. They get them certain things to make sure they're acclimated. So when white people get out and they start communicating, they learn how to talk around you. They already know what, you think they don't know what's being taught in your schools. You're in a state. Don't you know these states know what schools are performing and what's not? What, they know what kind of teachers they put in these schools. A lot of the teachers they put in your neighborhood couldn't, even, couldn't, even be a, couldn't make a hair to get in their school. They couldn't be a gentleman in them schools. I don't care if you are educated. They don't want you just in their school. Make sure you understand the program, the curriculum. Understand which way the school is moving. Understand you're going to catch these white kids. These white people, when they get into school, niggas, no, niggas ain't got enough brain in their head to make their job, go to their school and tell their job, go to their um, professions and get them to invest into the school. White people go in and demand they invest in those schools. Tell them, listen, our school is doing such and such. They're going to come in. I, I didn't learn that, that schools were getting sponsorship from these people until I moved to Cunyans years ago with my kid. I went. Out, I watched all these signs they had up here. Now they took them all down. All these places that were sponsoring the school. Now they took them down. Nobody sponsored them. Too many niggas move in. They don't want you to know that's how they make it. They thought, look at their school. Look at it. Listen, tax dollars are distributed at a certain amount for certain things, certain things they can't get away with. So they made the companies invest in them. White people go to their job, they work at Coca-Cola, they work at Pepsi-Cola, they work at IBM, they work at any place. They're going to tell them, they're going to demand, hey, you need to help sponsor these schools. 
we need our school needs sponsorship. They don't get them equipment. They don't get the right stuff in. They how they gonna they're gonna attract the best coaches, the best talent. Reason why we can't attract them because you don't have nothing to offer. Number crime, and that low attendance numbers. That's what kill us because we don't make people get involved. We don't get involved. A lot of stuff we need to do, we can fix ourselves. You know, another thing that's piss poor is the fact that you look at this whole situation with the Trump ordeal, where um, where the feds have gone into his home, confiscated, you know, paperwork, 16 boxes of paperwork. No doubt the other presidents have had as well and left with, but they chose to pick him to go through and pull his paperwork and his documents that he's willing to fight them on. They got to, look how they got to move with that man. That man should have been arrested. That man had nuclear secrets. You had a padlock on the door. You shouldn't, you shouldn't have left like they were showing. He's been approached more than one time about this paperwork. So this stuff looking like they just popped in Mar-a-Lago is a complete lie. They had already been to him before and asked him about it. They met with his attorneys before to turn the paper. That's why they sent the feds and they were tired of asking. So it looks like this is a political storm. Come at Trump. It's because they want to tell you just enough. This is not the first time. This was their last resort. They were tired of asking him to turn the paperwork in. His paperwork could have sent in a law library. It could have sent in a library secure where he could have came and seen him anytime. He kept him in his house with a padlock in the wall. This bastard stayed in a regular neighborhood. He had everybody in his house. You know what happened? Somebody breaking the house, get in his house, pop that lock, and get some nuclear secret stuff with other people home. They look at that. It's reckless. You shouldn't have it at your home with no padlock. You got too many people in your home. But... Of course, this is Trump. But look at all these white people. Now, I'll just show you the difference between us. Immediately, a white man goes to an FBI building with a nail gun and, and, a, and a gun, shooting it out with the FBI. Of course, he was killed. They found bombs out in front of their places. They got bomb threats. The FBI are afraid. This is all I'm trying to find out. Dr. King got killed. What did niggas do to the FBI? You see how white, Donald Trump ain't get killed. He ain't get arrested. Donald Trump got what a nigga get every day. You know what I'm saying? They should have gave him a no-knock search warrant. Yep. That's what we get every day. And this just shows you the difference between the nigga and the white man. These white folks already, listen, this ain't the police, this ain't a security guard they're threatening. These people are threatening to kill the FBI and the Attorney General. Listen, saying they'll kill them, want them gone, they're exterminated. They're talking about bombs, the whole nine. You see a bunch of white people being arrested. We come out on the street, we say black lives matter, terrorists, why they in the country? Why they fight? Why they withstand the police? Look how everything changes. Ain't they the one tell about what kind of people we are? When we just hold signs and say black lives matter, white folk come in with a nail gun and a handgun to shoot it out with the FBI. Yes, Who is this stupid that you approach the FBI bill with a nail gun and a gun to shoot it out? Ain't even your fight. But what they tell the nigga when one of us get shot? Once y'all respect law enforcement, and how many times we done heard that? How many times we heard it? We terrorists. Once y'all respect the law, won't they respect the law? They had a search warrant. They had a search warrant. They couldn't have got in there. That's the former president. Like, you think them people came here and they ain't already crossed they crossed their teeth and dot their eye? You think they jumped up at their house on a one bug? They had everything they need when they went in. They're trying to keep everything secret because some here inside people is ratting them out. And they know if they come up, them people good or dead. They know he's a criminal. All them criminals. White people are, listen, it ain't all of them. A, all of them criminals. They play us like we're the criminals. They're all criminals. Every one of them, they're a criminal to get the job. That's how they do it. And the stuff they pull, this man is, listen, he's going to be worse now than he was on January the 6th. Because, they, listen, they got to strategically move on there. When they arrest him and when they do pull him, they're going to be the worst move they made. They're going to, listen, they're going to need every piece of military they got. Them white boys ain't taking it. And the sad part is about it, though, the military going to be their threat. That's the whole, see, the whole problem they're going to claim with us, whole problem with them, they don't know which white group going to turn on them. Y'all know they already got 14 FBI agents that already done flipped over on them. Oh, yeah, they already telling that whole thing was a witch hunt. They already done, done switched over from everybody, let them know right now, they went to the fire department, said, listen, that whole thing a witch hunt. So we ain't had no reason to go in now. You know what they finna do to the FBI? You know what finna have no 14 agents? They done. They done. They better been pulled every piece of paperwork they can get to cover their behind. They done. That job over with. That the wrong, listen, you don't turn on the FBI, UFBI, you done. Your job over with, your career over with. These people float your family out of them. You know what it's like to wake up in the morning and your whole furniture been rearranged in your house while you were asleep? That's just for GP. 
Listen, everybody ever target, they don't ran them crazy. Nobody beat them. They had somebody tried it before. She was an FBI for them. She tried it. She tried to withstand them on some stuff they were doing. Shoot, they made her lose her baby. She had a stroke, her face crooked, the whole nine. Listen, they wreak havoc on your life. You see what? Listen, they wrecked that every one of them. When they talk, NSA guy decided to stand up. They tried, all them guys tried to stand up for truth and justice. These people who did it were really, listen, they were for what was right. You know where he worked at? He worked at an Apple store. Can you imagine this? You great, listen, you come out of the military or officer. I ain't talking about no lieutenant. You know what I'm saying? You come out of the lieutenant, you come out of the officer. You don't work then. Department of Justice, you don't work for the NSA, high ranking. You work at the Apple store. They had a CIA officer. He the first one revealed that them folk did the waterboarding. Y'all remember that? He the first one ran him out. He was on regular TV news, and he sat there and admitted them doing waterboarding. Listen, that the worst new interview he ever did in his life. He lost, you know where he work at? What that place at? It's a real, it's a real high end. Um, I'm trying to think of that. No. What's that? Uh, one of them pottery places. He stock them up in the afternoon. One of, one of them places sell that pottery. It's one of them cheap places like McMichael. Hot, something like Hot Block. Yeah, he's, he do stocking for them. How, listen, he's the one that wrote, he wrote how to go in and get a tear. He wrote that. He the one designed that whole thing. How you go in, how you arrest them, the whole end, how they do that. He wrote that whole thing. High rank of CIA. And he left that job. Well, he got removed from that job. And he tried to send him some, he got a job, first of all, with the government, with the Senate. And he had sent the CIA them official document, asking them for some paperwork. They sent him an official document back, told him to F itself. Listen, they sent it to him official, told him to F himself. His life over with. Oh, he stood for Drew. Listen, he had all his credentials. He had all his paperwork to back him up. And he won. He went to prison. They read their whole life. He broke down. Then them folks sat in front of the house. Someone, he just went outside. They told him. Listen, they run them crazy. They just sit and park in front of your house. Just sit. And they already know the tactic. Run them crazy. They've been trained by them. They break up. They know how to break you down. Listen, it's a dangerous job. And that's the life you get. They sell their soul. They go with these people. They're what you have to pay. When you decide you're going to stand up and say, this is not right. We can't do this. This is wrong. This is illegal. You're a dead number. You're a dead man. You're a dead woman. They don't wreck a lot of people's lives. A lot of folks just give up. I mean, you can't win. Listen, they can make whatever they want. They can say, listen, you can't pull them. Everybody has tried to pull them in. We're going to bring you in. you getting questioned. You got one. It can't work. You can't make the FBI do nothing. You can't make the CIA do nothing. You can't do the NSA do nothing. Because as soon as you bring all your official paperwork, all they got to tell you, national security. That in everything. Everything been Trump. National security. Ain't no judge can make them do nothing. All that judge finna do, it going to wind up somewhere mysteriously dead. National security. Listen, nobody can stop them. Kennedy learned that. Why y'all think Kennedy did? I tried to tell y'all before, y'all look this up. You know, uh, Kennedy tried to save Latrice LaBamba life. Most of y'all don't even know who he was. He wanted to save his life. He, listen, when he won that election, you know what they did? They killed him right off the rip. They didn't tell him the months after he had been in office. He was hurt. He tried to save his life. They looked at, you want to save his life. He knew how scary they were. He went with another government. He had met with another government. I can't remember what. Wanted to talk to the man. The man told him about how he wanted to keep his office, how he wanted to stay in there. Kennedy told him, said, I like you, so I want you to stay in the office. He said, but ain't nothing to me, to the CIA. He was gone, too. He told him, he said, I can't do nothing with him. Nobody. Nobody has ever been able to do nothing with any of the organization. You just dare. They got files on everybody. You think they let you hold that office, they ain't got files on you. You think your phone tap, they phone tap. Oh, yeah. They can't afford nobody going different. Man, they got to record uh, Lyndon Johnson when he was in office. Listen, Lyndon Johnson ordered that the whole White House be, that everything, all the phone be wiretapped. He put it in there. He was scared of them. After Kennedy was killed, he said, I want everyone on the phone. He want recorders on them. They got him on the phone talking. He was talking to a senator. He said, man, I don't know what they're doing. He said, they killed him. He said, I don't know what's going on. They, listen, they kept that Vietnam War. Kennedy was going to pull out of it. When they saw he was dead, you know what Johnson did? He signed that paperwork, let that war machine keep rolling. They don't play. What you going to do with them? When you sitting down at a table and every one of these people 
are over everything in the United States, and you sit on a table with every one of these people, and every one of these people are the people that tell you what's going on in the world. And you're looking at every one of these people trying to figure out which one of these guys killed this man and how many guys are in together. Every, one, every morning you get a briefing from everywhere. Every morning the president gets a briefing on everything going on around the world. Y'all didn't know every morning, every former president can get it too. Most of y'all didn't know they did it. Every morning they find out what's going on around the, the entire world. Every day, nonstop. They know what's going on around the whole world. You know how they know? Because those people at the table told them. Not because they saw it they sell. Not because they got a phone call from those people. You know how dangerous those people are? You know what them people do to you? They'll make you go and strike a wall and sit back and you and God made a fool. So we had intel. We went in the day hype there. We striked on Daniel. We had intel, such and such, and made the American people there. Let on that junk come out. I don't know where you got that from. You can't call nothing. And you know what them folks just sit back and just watch you. What you gonna do? You know what? When me, CIA gave me this bogus information. And where you think you're gonna be at? They do what they want to do at Colin Powell. He sat down and made a fool out of himself. Y'all know ain't none of them people that ever got arrested for that. That whole Iraq in. The CIA gave him that. You know what they found out later on? They didn't tell they had was back from the, uh, it, had, it was old, it was from the 80s. We gave you the wrong information. Wrecked their career, got him out of there. That's what they do to you. I'm telling you, listen, folks, it's time for the Negro to wake up and use his head. They do this to their own people. Y'all see what they're doing to Donald Trump? This, listen, this ain't out. This their people. What y'all think they've been doing to us? Listen, man, when these people come for you, that's just how it is. And we the only people set back. Those white people that arm themselves to go fight them, it's because they know. They said, these the same lie we use on the niggas. They're the same lie we make up once, pop up, bogus. See the stuff he get to say, when they coming out, how to do that? You get where we at? We on the ground, face down, handcuffed. We wreck, we done. Look at them folks. All you see other news stories talking about Donald Trump being railroad. They don't mind. Listen, they throwing their own safety out here. They come, the FBI incompetent. You saying this stuff for real? You think the FBI missed a news story? That's how far these white folks willing to go. They willing to risk their life for that man. They know, listen, if black people pay attention, the so called Negro use the head, you'll see. This how corrupt their whole system is on both sides. Neither one of them innocent. They railroading Trump and Trump a crook. That's what bad. Why you keep thinking, of, know that this, when you heard them start saying the election was stolen? Still saying it? Yep. Even though all these states don't recertify everything, why they still saying the election was stolen? Because, get yeah, why? Them folks telling you, it's a whole lot. Listen, they don't wrecked a lot of people's life. That woman sitting in, what's her name? One of the highest, more powerful attorneys in the, in the United States, Sidney, I forgot what her last name is, Sidney Powell. She ain't got no power no more. When the last time y'all seen on TV? Fox News, they own Clear Channel, everything. They got Fox Sport, everything on there. They came out and spoke against Dominion. Dominion, who made those uh, boat machines. Y'all remember that comment? They said, oh yeah, those Dominion machines, they rigged. You do know how much that cost them, right? They suing them for, what, about $2 billion. Far New gonna have to shut down to pay them. One, listen, they hit everybody that opened their mouth. You said they got Alex Jones for saying about Sandy Hook will fight. Yeah. Tell me that. $45 million? $45 million? You can't believe it by Sandy Hook. You tell me $45 million for saying that will fight. Because it's about more than what you're thinking. He's a Trump supporter. Everyone need people coming out. But them tell, the whole system is corrupt. That what nobody see. Nancy Pelosi, her family, the whole system corrupt. All these people just corrupt. They all corrupt. They wore out Joe Biden. Joe Biden went, took his son over here, and his son did this. Nancy Pelosi took her son to Taiwan. Y'all didn't see that either. Oh, y'all didn't see that? On that official trip she had with all those delegates she had going. One of them was her son. Y'all didn't see that? Are y'all serious? Nancy Pelosi took her son with him. He got, well, mm, he got stocks over there. He bought, y'all can look this up, see if online. I know because I bought some. I bought them too. He the biggest stock owner in it. He bought stocks. That's why he was over there doing business. 
He was sitting right at the table. With everybody else had absolutely no being to being. Now that's what they do. But well, then let's talk about how corrupt she is because Donald Trump used his son-in-law and he used his daughter to do business too. I don't know what for. Like, all on the same people. People don't even realize why he brought Jared in there, why he got Jared. He, Jared needed that done. Jared's family couldn't borrow no more money. His family was done in America. They were, you know how bad it is when no banks won't lend you no money? What, what that is? We, we, niggas, you that you, you don't get one. Why you don't get no money? Not just because you're black. Tell me why. Bad credit. Bad credit. He couldn't, they couldn't get no money from no banks in the U.S. That's why he made Jerusalem, Jerusalem, the capital of Israel. He opened the flood, gave his family to get money. See, everybody make a deal. Trump went on that air like he was Jewish, running to the wall to do all that. Guess what happened? They ain't need no money from him. Guess who started flooding, who started bagging their family? Israel. That was, a big, that was a big move for them. Getting to make Jerusalem the capital. See, but this is what these folks look like. They'll look like they some kind of humanitarian. They really care about somebody. These white folks don't care about nobody. They care about their money. We the dumbest. Black people don't know nothing. You know what? Black people ought to be pissed with themselves to see how how real how willing these white people are to go to go to war with it. Do y'all know how much damage the FBI, all these organizations have done there? The real Rick Ross went to prison, selling dope for them to sponsor the Contras. See how responsible for putting cocaine on our streets. When the nigga done threatened them, when the nigga done stood up for itself. Ain't nothing but a bunch of sign totals. These white folk by business. Y'all these folk done put death threat. They done told they gonna kill them. These white folk done told they gonna kill them. These folk find a bunk. They got the FBI scared. When we know the FBI to be scared. They punk us. Everybody else, stand up to them. We've been on the street because let me see, Brianna Taylor was killed. They ain't got nothing to do with us. Cause on um, Sandra Blonde was being hung. Cause she was hung. And they tell her to go home. This ain't got nothing to do with you. Get out of it. Go home. Where, where, where the white folks at? Where they curfew? Right. That's right. Why these white folks ain't got a curfew? You don't went to the FBI building with a nail gun. You, you know, you couldn't have thought you were leaving. There is no way in my mind I'm thinking I'm going to the FBI building with a nail gun and they're going to let me leave. What, they going to arrest me? You have a gun and a nail gun. You think they're going to let you leave him? So that means that white man willing to say he did it for a white cop. He a hero for white people. That white girl who went inside the Capitol and got shot trying to break it down. They said she was a, they said she was a, a hero. Y'all don't remember the black police officer that was shooting out with the police in California. He was telling he was fighting for it. They had another remember that? He said, I know they tagged it. They wound up burning him up in the house, killing him. They're not gonna talk about the black guy who was a military who stood in the building. He shot it out with the police because he said he was tired of black people getting shot. You know, somebody went, listen, somebody went on Facebook or one of them and typed in he was a hero. Y'all know what happened, don't you? Listen here, man, they took his doors out of hinges. Kicked his door in, took him to jail. He said, we're yelling and screaming. He said, I was yelling intelligence back at him. They had to let him out. Your door still out and you still went to jail. Because he posted that that guy was a hero. They post these people here, bro. They broke in the Capitol. We don't have nobody black ever with no Capitol. Nope. We don't have nobody black never went try to shoot no ill. With the FBI, your gun don't even work. Right. Are you serious? For some old orange peel looking cracker who don't care nothing about you? I don't know why the nigga ain't woke up. I'm so disgusted with my people, I don't know what to do. Y'all probably won't hear me talking about no more black issue no more. It just hurt me. Watching white people be proactive about nothing, about nothing. Ain't nobody come out and call them unpatriotic. Well, when we heard that? Terrorists. Haters of a, when has this been called? Soon as the first nigga walk out the street with a sign and say, police injustice, he hate the country. And they always put it, he hate the police. How we saying he hate the police? If a police slap me down, ain't done that, police, um, um, I'm against police violence. Oh, he hate all police. He against the system. He don't want to be in this country. He hate the founding fathers, which is true <laughs> on that part. Yeah, yeah. Because they were slave owners. I hate every slave owner. Not absolutely one of my love. That's stupid. How do you? That's as much as teaching a woman to love a man who raping her laying on top of her. Right. 
That is the dumbest thing. We don't owe them no apology for that. Of course you love them. They ain't own you. They ain't rape you. They ain't tear up your home. They ain't kidnap you. My story's different. Yeah, probably like that. Don't be surprised. Y'all hear me talking about no more black issue. I'm just, I'm, I'm tired. I've been with y'all. They won. They won. Watching these white people stand up for this and why no comment being made against these people. No threats up. Why we ain't seeing constant LBI doors kicking in on these folks? These folks do them like they do us. Show us the same thing. Go get them. They ain't got a dog. How did them going in there against some files that belong to the government hurt them? We're only out there because people died for no reason. And they look like us and it can be us. And we next. Now they're going to try to play like, it'll be out coming out how to get what? You off your sister? There ain't no law against that. You just sick. What are they going to go kick the rest of these redneck house in for? They know these 10 cent crackers ain't worth nothing. They're sick of it. I'm tired of it. I'm going to get ready. I'm going to move on. I'm going to teach y'all. But y'all don't hear me talk about no more black issues. Just don't even worry about it. I'm tired. I'm, I'm burned. I've been, I'm just burned out. I don't know what to say. I just, I'm so disappointed with people of color. When you look at all these extreme, these white people went because they felt like a vote was stolen. And went, kicked the door, busted one of the pissed on the dead, defecating off, brought bombs, brought guns. Killed, injured 178 officers were injured, took butt whipping. We ain't get but one white person get shot. Only shot one white person. Why we ain't get 100, 170 officers injured? How many people should have been shot? At least one per officer. Let me see, you're chanting, kill them. You ain't chanting friend, brother. When has it been black people in a protest Holly, kill the police, hang it. We don't even talk like that. That's why I'm disgusted with black people. I'm disgusted. Y'all won. Y'all won. Y'all took it. They finally figured out how to shut me up. You won this one. And all they had to do was let me see white people stand up and do what they do and look at how bad and how incompetent the nigga is. How incompetent. We incompetent. It makes sense. Keep killing us. It only makes sense. You ain't going to do nothing. You know what? Them people knew they was supposed to left that and they put up, took Trump to jail. They had to move. So, and you know what? They just realized that was getting paperwork. You got a white boy at your door with a nail gun and a handgun. What you think gonna happen when they try to lock that man up? What y'all think gonna happen? No white folks just gonna let them take him. That's gonna be the end of it. They gonna tear their country. They gonna peel it apart. I ain't gonna help nobody. I ain't helping none of them. All of them on the ground can't breathe. I'm stepping your chest and keep walking. I have no dog in that fight. I'm going to be like that black man that asked him about Ukraine. Now, help, he said, ask me to help you. He said, I'm African. I ain't got to do no Ukraine. I'm not going to fight with no Ukraine. That's not my problem. These folks get to fight them. No, I'm walking right past them. Have a good day now. Black people done messed it up. Y'all, we, we done. We're done. All we need to do, really, we need to get a Bible and start praying to Jesus. It ain't no fault. We, 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 I mean, I don't know how we're going to be no better. We terrible people. We terrible people. I'm included with it because I'm tired of talking, 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 talking. We're done. Just let's, let's ride the wave. Let it do what it do. White people are going to tear it up in a way. They're going to wind up killing each other. This whole Trump thing, why? They're going to kill each other. If I catch any of my members in there, you're trying to help them. I'm, I'm going to jump in. I'm going to help the other side. Leave them alone. That's their stuff. Just leave it alone. Just shut up. Don't jump in. It's time to do something. Shut your mouth. I'm going to go get me a police badge and stick. I'm going to beat you. Don't do it. Just stay out of the way. Just leave it alone. We ain't did nothing all that time. We've been good with it. Let's just shut up. And keep, it'll be honest. White folk, right? Just might as well just shut up. We ain't doing nothing. White folk go here. They tell you, they'll whoop you up. And you got to run here. And you still got to play basketball. I get up here. and just hype that. I get up. Shut up. Shut up. You nigger. And I say, oh, who you calling? Call no nigger. I'm sick of y'all talking. They say, listen, I didn't pay my money to come here for this. Now, you're an athlete. You got that play. I don't want you protesting. I don't want you disagreeing against nothing. I just want you to play. This is the most, this man, that's the most hurling insult I've ever heard in my life. And every basketball player we got said that you're a dummy. Ain't none, ain't none, not one example. All of them dummy. How is somebody going to tell me, I'm getting whooped, I'm getting, how you going to tell me, don't say that about because you paid your money? 
I have some nice words for people like that. I see, I keep them right here. I keep them. Like Dawu said, the word right here in my heart. I have many words. I have many words. I have right here in my heart for you. How you gonna tell me, Jeff, play and don't, I don't pay for that. I pay the company. I don't have time for your disagreement. This is another order from your slave master. You said everyone on play in Utah, whether you playing or you play on the team in Utah Jazz, you're a retard and you're an idiot, okay? Utah is one of the worst states. Can y'all imagine the whole time you running down the court, you being called nigger? The whole time you run down the court, you getting called nigger and get, and, like, and you know, listen, look, block it out. Stay focused, stay focused, did the game. What game we what game we play? You calling me nigga while I'm running out of the court? You talking about my mama? Right. And then I get fine when I turn around and say something. Back. First of all, you're a professional. You see, that's how they play a nigga to make you show you you're a trained nigga. This nigga been controlling you, cause he said he paid his money. He got a right. The nigga who your coach who ain't never but a slave handler. All these coaches never slave handlers. Oh, I know we got a black one. That's the house nigga. Cause he, all of them, as soon as you get ready to hypothetical, hypothetical, I'm getting ready to go up there, can't come up. I'm getting ready to go up here and hypothetical, she don't throw something down to him, you cold, he cold, you getting ready now, she don't throw something up here and then hit you, you getting ready to go after her. No, stay in the game, come on, get your head in the game, son. You're a professional, you're a professional. When I go get her, grab her and throw her over some chairs or something. I'm gonna grab her, now that did the whole news story. By the way, he did get $150,000 fines. And we possibly looking at about three games suspension. Now he got to go to the media. Oh, I just want to say they all. Uh, Can I got that now? That's what I'm no, you done? <laughs> yeah, I know when your service has been you. Oh, uh, I just want to apologize to the media. Oh, uh, I lost my head the other day. And kids and everything was out there and everything. And I want to apologize to them. And I can show y'all, y'all never had that happen without me again. You was a good nigga. I said, tell a white boy. Anytime y'all try it, this is what you're going to get. And ain't nobody going to stop me. I'm like, Metal World Peace, I'm coming in that stand. I love Metal World Peace. He yoked that joke. You want to throw a drink down him? I ain't naked pull that joke. Listen, they couldn't pull a Ron and Tess out that stand. I don't know what they were thinking to throw that out down the floor. That was the wrong nigga. He said the stuff. How many of y'all know about Ron and Tess? I said, don't know about him. Listen, he rock a word. Listen, you want... Well, that joke is, you can't, he don't even drink no more. He do like that. He said, put it in my lip. He's scared to touch a cup. You don't want to touch no more cups. Metal World Peace ain't nothing but a machine coming at you. That joke, you see a temple stick out that far. I know retarded people. That retarded. I yeah, mean, listen, they want one, one, they want a, they want a championship that time. They interviewed, how, they, they interviewed that joke about that championship. He was asking, he said, they talk, he said, he said, I ain't take a bath this whole series. I said, this man didn't take a bath. What they had? What that a seven game series they won that time? How many games they won? For a seven game, you ain't take a bath. You can't get away a seven game straight. He said he didn't take a bath. The whole series. I look in his eye. You don't play with nobody like that. He know how he smell too. You don't play with nobody like that. You know where your mind at? No, no, no. Listen, if Metal World, he got anything to say about me, I want to say I'm sorry. That boy that's so retarded, a bullet won't stop him. Man, retarded people, you got to know where to hit them at. They don't just start like that, man. They don't even know they've been shot. They just keep going. No, you don't play with nobody like that. You can look in the eye and tell, and them things stick out like that. I say, yeah, he retarded. His temper won't even match in. Mine will swell out a little bit if I chew some chicken gizzle. That nigga ain't chicken gizzle. The whole time, he temper just swelling up. Ain't no brain in now. That's what we need. I need, like, give me 1,600 uh, Metal World P. I'll fix all that black problem we got. I don't need all these niggas, 1,600. Like, ain't that what they need for the, that? According to Chris and these folk pop, if I got 1,500 Metal World Peace, that cover 380 some million people pinging. And the way he's swinging, 380, I should tell y'all, y'all please stop the way he's dropping. When I let 1,500 Metal World Peace lose, that's all I need right now. We're gonna fix this nigga problem we got around him. All right, I'm going to get ready to move on. Come on. Whew.
Appreciate it. He gonna find something to cry about, ain't he? He said, I'm gonna find me something in here. All right, we're gonna look at it, Romans 15 and 4. <clears throat> Y'all know what we gotta do get our foundation. I would like to have a brief conversation with y'all. <clears throat> Most high willing. Main thing, let's get this right. <clears throat> this 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 is um something that um I do a lot of thinking about. Um more uh, communicating with him on where I want us to be, where I want to be, what I'd like for him to do. Um, the, the bar is what it is. Um, I want to make some adjustments um, that I feel will be uh, essential to our growth and our uh, obtaining the Ruach HaKadah, which is the most important thing we could do. Um, everything else is secondary. I guess the way he let this happen, so it just kind of burned me on out and be like, okay, go ahead and move on because there ain't your fight no more. There ain't enough people to do it. You can't do it by yourself. You can't keep, you know, speaking. on. I know a lot of people. You got to just keep talking about it. I'm, I'm really tired. I really got other things I need to be doing at this point. You know, it's self-preservation for everybody. If you're okay with it, then I got to be okay with it at the point. You know, you don't have to like it, but it like Yahushua. When he came across the city, well. Um, you know, when they teach us Yahushua, they'll only teach us Yahushua, you know, um, to a point of, um, because they'll teach the Jesus premise of, you know, nonviolence, um, loving everybody, uh, respectful, um, all these different things they'll tell us, which is not a true aspect of who he is. Um, I mean, he was adamant about caring for his people. And that's something people need to know. You know, he came for the, uh, you know, of course, for the alarm, for the world. And if you think about it, it makes sense because in the world we were dispersed. So it only makes sense. We've been dispersed and mixed in with, a, with other nations, other Goyim. So we don't actually know our identity. Just think about it. When they tell you he a hob, the alarm, he dispersed us in all these different places. So in loving it, the, the reason why it would make sense that there would be a care for the world, we've been dispersed everywhere. So in doing it, so if we've been dispersed there, well, we've also mixed in with other people. So it makes sense of why. It's just like a parent. You know, I have kids. My kids have gotten kids. we gotten kids. You know, I didn't have those kids. I did not birth those kids, nor did I beget those kids, those grandkids. But I love them just as much because they come out. They're attached to my kids. You got to think about it. You have a great a hog for a kid that you yourself did not beget, or did you bear? You didn't, you didn't go through the hospital, you didn't lay in the emergency room to have them or whatever it was, but your love for them, as they would call it, is as great as it is for your child, simply because they stemmed out from them. Why do you think he would have a love for these people? They all stem out, they connect to us which gives them an opportunity to be. You know what I'm saying? People leave things to their grandkids. Why? Because of that middle connection. That child connect allows or makes me or, or allows me to have that feeling that caring for you and to do what I'll do for you. But without them, you should be another kid on the street. The only reason these people can actually get in their heart from their man is because of us. Think about it. We don't refer to ourselves as Yahudim. We refer to ourselves as Americans or whatever nationality we were or whatever region we were. If I'm, I'm from Georgia, call myself a Jordan, call myself an Alabama or Mississippi or whatever we might be, a Texan or whatever it is. But because, of, you know, now we're starting to understand and realize who we are and come into the knowledge of, just like Musha. What you, let me ask you something. What happened to Mizraim after he came into the knowledge of himself, periodically after that? Why he destroyed while he was in it? Why he was an emperor in the, and why he was an emperor in it. Hello? And the same thing he did with Luke. I can't do nothing till I get you out. Oh, they know they dying. Listen, they crops burning up. They Midwest crop. Listen, they rivers are dried up. Listen, 
They don't let these white folks listen. They suffering bad. It's bad for them. It's bad. Rightfully so. They hadn't done right. And just like you look at how they jump up and how adamant they are to go and kill these people. How many times we've been told we the people don't respect law enforcement at all? Black people hate law. White people, oh, we love them. Mr. Thank you for your job. They do all this stuff. As soon as one of they white people who they put all their heart in get a simple uh what is it uh the coming your house with a search warrant. Our whole life been search warrant. They illegally search over, they pull us over. One white boy get us, did nobody get killed. Trump ain't got thrown on no ground. Trump ain't got arrested. Trump house ain't got ramshacked. They said, we stayed specifically right to what the warrant did. Okay, we took 11 boxes. That was it. Whole world erupting white people. White folk losing their seats who saying it was right. Why the nigga ain't got that kind of power? Folks scared, listen, you... Go down the street with black light and hand them out to black people. Listen, man, you finna go to jail. They thought, go hand out Trump shirt. Ain't no white folks in how they ain't going to jail. Put on that shirt. I'm a Trump supporter and I'll fight anybody who try to stop it. Anybody I hurt them, I'll kill them. They gonna take them shirts. The nigga, the only one won't get it. He'll get it. Black light matter with this. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I, yeah, yeah, I don't need them problems. Because you saying your life matter. But if it's a shirt supporting this orange peel looking cracker, that's why I'm upset. Tell me, explain me how that makes sense. That you'll wear that man's shirt. That man is tearing the country up. He's terrible. He was terrible for business before. That's why they got him out. He's a terrible business man. All these folks got to tell me once the self business he got. I thought so. They don't have one. Trump has ever done, ever been here. He does not have a successful These folks say what they want. The apprentice, he left, and what happened to it? Trump does not have a successful bit. Anything Trump get, he failed. Trump made money off of crashing businesses. He's a hype man. This is what niggas don't realize. Trump comes in with a lot of hype, blow, get stuff going, he get out. But I tell, why, give some time if the world keep going along. He'll be a passing through there realize he hyped them. He hyped them, done nothing. He's done nothing for these people. These people lying themselves. Them little crumbs they got on their check, that don't amount to no money. These folks ain't got nothing from this man. That man, listen, anything, this is what bad with so-called Negro. He thinks he does something. He does nothing for you. He does for himself. He does for himself. Of course, if you dare, something's going to fall to you. It ain't because of you. It's because it benefits him. How many times him and Kanye West done held out, been holding out, hanging out since he got out? You used the nigga. The man sat there, he opened his mouth, and all idiots came out. Trump is a dragon. He like a dra- Trump saying, look at it, this nigga's really retarded, messed up. Wife done left him, got another nigga, went to somebody else, and finna grab another nigga. They only get you to screwball, you'll make a fool out like you for these people. When did the Negro gonna get a brain in his head? Why won't he get up and support himself? Why won't the nigga get a brain support himself? Get him a candidate, make his candidate hit president. Regardless of what choice that these folk make. These folk tell you that Trump, they call him president. That white folk will not call him ex-president. They call him President Trump. They'll tell you he's their president. Every president you got, white man gave to you. White people made their, and when, listen, when the system didn't agree with them, they still got their president. Nothing worked for you when you agree, for, agree with it, and nothing worked for you when you disagree with it. Do you know how well they have kept us scrambled so long, they kept us so afraid so long, till we afraid to even stand up and voice our opinion because we were afraid the Gestapo is going to come in and get us. You can't say that either because they might come get you for that. You think the white folk worry about them running their house? The white folk done already told when they run in their house, they shooting them right back out of there. They already know they ain't finna run a white folk house like that. They showed y'all you had to learn later on through the news. They went right on to a white boy out in the Midwest who would let his cattle drink out of government water. They constantly kept coming at him, sent telling him, do not let those cattle drink out of that water that was government property. He kept doing it. Feds popped up. And when they did, the white folk right there and they dropped, listen. Assault rifles on the feds. The feds, I'm making this up. I'm making all this up. They left. Oh, did I say they went and got reinforcement? Left. 
Them white folk dropped their guns. Who said they came back? No, they did not. They didn't come back. On time they came back, when he ran his mouth and made them white folk leave, he ran, got out there and ran him. Listen, them white folk told him, listen, they interviewed him. I watched the interview. Listen, they said, they said, we ain't going nowhere. They said, we're staying right here. They said, well, I'm really coming back. They stay, and the fed didn't come back until he ran his mouth in the interview. Let him run his mouth. They're like a white boy do, run his mouth too long. Who he brought in? Black folk. What black folk do? Them crack look, they were like, they took out their gun. They interviewed, they said, I don't even know why he said that. They're like, what, I don't even know why you said nothing about black people. They had nothing to do with this. This was about the government and friends, because he said his father had the land. They thought they always drunk out of it. They said, well, it's federal property. They can't drink out of it no more. And all those, those white folks that were standing at that show, we're fighting against the government. Dummy ran him off at the mic and drug us in it. The black folk, white folk, I'm going to tell you, that's why you shouldn't hate all these white folk. You need to stop it. They walked off and left him. That's how he got arrested. That's how he got, see, they know. A white boy owe me mouth, he'll hang himself. They'll tell you, we'll hang ourselves. They hang themselves all the time. Trump done hung himself. He don't even realize he did an interview where he sat there and said he did not jump up there and lunge at no secret service. Y'all remember? No, I didn't see it because you don't watch new. Y'all too big watching vagina and dangling movies. So he said he didn't lunge up at no. He said, what? That makes them lie. They incompetent. They got Washington police now who said they was on detail. They said, yeah, they had heard it too. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. They got secret. Yeah, they said, yeah. They said, oh, yeah, it, it happened. They told the white woman, she, nobody likes her. That's why I never brought her down to them. When I left, I didn't take her with me. Nobody likes her. She's a light. She made this up. She didn't make none of that up. They got Secret Service aiding them. They're saying, yeah, it did happen. Police are saying, they said, yeah, we did get a call about him doing that. But guess what, though? That was good. Because guess what they're going to use them on? The man that went on TV, did a news interview, said it never happened. So when they get him to court now, you know they're going to interview him about that. They're going to question him. And once he said he didn't do it, and they got him already, get, they, they, he gonna have to admit he done it, cause they gonna pull him on, they gonna put, listen, everything he been saying, they keep the tape. Dumb and a hung itself. Well, he already, they know too. When they come at Trump, it's over with. Y'all niggas might well go and tell your job, you ain't gonna be back to work. Cause y'all work for them white I'm telling they gonna, listen, y'all gonna see, listen, they gonna be a day gonna go down, listen, the whole world gonna see just how white folk really is over him. See, we been sitting around thinking they been up, nigga, oh, we burn building, we tell stuff. They look at when we burn building. Let me see. Mm, when we pay the same money white folk do and we don't get the same equality. When we get shot down, get hung, get beat. Go find when black folk jumped up and just started tearing up building because it was a holiday. Because they searched somebody. Never happened. There's never been a time that we haven't protested and it broke out the violence because of issues that white folks invoked on black people. They always try to make it like, look at them niggas, how they burn up stuff. Look at them crackers tore up that White House, tore up that, uh, tore up that, uh, what is that, that little house they got up there? The Capitol. None of them white folks were injured. Had nothing to do with none of them. That's the same system they told over. We've been, how long we been saying the election was stolen? The election was rigged. Every time they put a white man in now, we ain't tore up nothing. Soon the white folks said, look at that. When they say something, they got power behind it. We talk among us. Hey, hold on. Shh, be quiet. They don't want to come out. Hey, Master. Yeah, them cracker men. I'll tell them they faith. Right. You ain't going to tell them nothing. They know you. They know you too scared. And the higher rank a nigga get, the more scared he get. Because he know who control him. All I'm for is that be for fair. Let be fair. One rule for everybody. One right for everybody. One wrong for everybody. Let's just be fair. That's all I'm saying. America not fair. That's even with homosexual. I ain't for killing them. Let them live. If you want to go and you want to go and buck somebody, I said buck, buck somebody eyes out his head. Do it in your own home with your windows down, and we don't want to smell that and them fly and say them flies. That's right. <laughs> fly getting that man smell that faggot booty stuff, man. Mess them flies up. All flies ain't bad. I mess some night nice flies. I met some polite flies. There's some flies that aggravate. There's some flies like, look, I see you eating. Man, go ahead and do your thing. <laughs> but they'll tell you, like say, leave me some. <laughs> There's some flies they will, man. I, I'm telling you, I met some nice flies. I see you one laying, I was like, oh, I was like, what? I said, but, he, but it was not. He laying like, he just, just he, he like, you know, he like, he ain't got to uh, do that whole little foot thing, you know, like, like he was doing crit while he just, he just, uh, one time back out. I said, I ain't going to fight that. 
I made mistakes too. I don't, hold on, ain't nobody here never stepped in there before. Who ain't here never stepped in something before? So you cut your leg, so you kill yourself. It's a nice fly, that's all I'm saying. You can't kill everybody for one little mistake. Do that, sometimes fly don't get a good rep. I try to do my thing for when I can. All right, look at him. Matthew, you know somebody fly? I mean, you might have had him a bad day. I ain't heard that much yesterday. Yes, sir, yes, sir! I just want to know where you at, that's all. <laughs> Y'all are trying. It's Romans 15 and 4, listen. For whatever Nikata before. For whatever was written before. Nikata for our Lama. It was written to teach us, to show us, and to instruct us. That's why this is so important to us. Listen. That, that we, through endurance, mm -hmm. and the coom of the Kitubim, yes. might have Tikva. That's, that's our goal, to make sure we, uh, that we have this that we obtain this, that we get this, that we might be what? Let's look at this. Um, let me sit down. Well, let's say a 10 and 1. Since we're at Rome, let's see. So that's his desire, let's see. Let's see. Shaul said his desire was, well, let's go look at it. All my sick is shut in. Let's see. All right. Listen. Akim, my law of desire, and palal to Allahim for Yashra is that they might be Yasha. See that? So, hold on. Hold on. <clears throat> well, in Latin, the Latin didn't record Yashra. They just said Akim, which they got brethren. The will of my law. He's saying desire, but the will, that's a little different. Indeed, and my palal to Elohim is for them unto Yeshua, which is salvation. So he said that was the will. So, you know, somebody had to put that in. Let's see uh, if we could. Can we look up desire and will so we can see how close in proximity these words are or how indifferent they are? Desire meaning a strong feeling of wanting to have something or wishing for something to happen. This ain't nothing we do either. <clears throat> okay? A strong will, I mean a strong feeling of wanting to have something or wishing for something to happen. Okay? Inclination, fancy, want, wish, aspiration, impulse, preference. All right, let's see what the next one is. Y'all got that? He said will. They're probably going to show us more than one thing. Probably show us like riding the wheel. <clears throat> Let's see. Expression, expressing the future tense, which will be a will. Expressing a strong intention or assertion about the future. <coughs> expressing uh, what? Inevitable, inevitable events. I got to have expressing a request. Okay, will. So maybe I look at his, his request. Because then it makes sense. Expressing desire, consent, or willingness. I think I go with expressing a request. Because then he said he palauda the Allahim for Yashara to have something. So in his will, I think I think he was, I would go along with his request on will. Based off of, you know, just based off of what he's saying. Because he's saying, my palau, which is what he would ask Allahim for. So he's saying, this is my request from my law. So I could take it that this request that he had wasn't just something he would just ask it. This is something that he could, and they would say, desire. It's something he really wanted, okay? So expressing a, quest, a request. Expressing habitual behavior? No. <clears throat> uh, expressing probably, uh, probably what is it, probability or expression or expectation about something in the present? I mean, you could probably look at that, too. Now I go with expressing facts, ability, or capacity. You know, uh, what, what's the other one I had out there? Slide back down. Yeah, expressing desire, consent, willingness. Expressing a, a request. <clears throat> Just like, will you stop? They use the little right. Will you stop here, please? All right. Okay. So will could simply, will and desire could, so I look at it expressing 
a request from the law. Indeed, my palau to Elohim is for them unto Yeshua. That's my desire for us. That's why I need to start in the law. For a lot of us, for what we want, um, and, and I, I think it's important to make sure of him just not asking for something. I think that's what we do. We pull out and we ask for things, but we don't have ourselves kind of in the right, um, right setting in order to receive it. For him and what he asked for, he made sure that was something that he deeply desired, that it was something that he really wanted. Like most, the average person will say they want to be saved, but it's not something I, I actually believe that's a deep desire, because if it is, you're willing to change. You make adjustments. That, I'm, I'm, I'm being honest, and you're honest about what you do, okay? And, and, and there has to be a force behind your words. I don't just ask him for something and do nothing. You know, oh, you who will save me. What am I doing to be saved? What am I doing to be saved? Well, I asked, but if that's, some, if that's some, I, a real will, intent, or something that I want, then you work toward it. Y'all got it? If you say, I want a business, what do you do? A business appear? What happened? You got to set it up. If paperwork, there's a lot of things involved. It's money that's going to be needed. It's products and different things. I, I want a business. What, I, I don't, what kind of business? I don't know. I just want a business. Uh, how are you going to get it? I, I don't know. I just, I, just asked, I just asked the most high for it. What's the probability of getting the business? Because I've done nothing toward it. Now, let's look at salvation. All of us will agree we want to be saved. What's the probability of it when you hadn't put things into play? Right? These things are like a business you got to invest in or you got to get others to invest in what you're doing. So what, in, what, in, what type of investment have you made in this desire, this asking that you've been doing for salvation? Okay, let's look. Let's see. He said he did it. Let's see what happened. For what you do. I bear them record that they have a zeal of Allahim. Can we look at zeal? We know these are English words, but they're rendering them for what they say in our Aubrey word would be. Or what they would say the Greek word would be, which you had to look over. But let's see what a zeal is. Great energy or enthusiasm. I told y'all before, they had a, a great energy or enthusiasm in pursuit of a cause or an objective. A passion. They said it wanted a similar word. Zealousness. Uh, committedness, committedness. So... Great energy or enthusiasm in pursuit of a cause or an objective. Y'all got that? That's what he said Yasharal had. Y'all got it? They have an energy. Some people come and say, Woo, boy, I'm ready for serve. I've been, I've been all week, man, going. I've been waiting on Shabbat. I would say they have an enthusiasm. Hello? Man, all week I've been waiting for the Shabbat to get here, man, so I can just. You know, come here to work, just rest, just, you know what I'm saying? Just, you know, be with the fellowship and everything. So you have an energy about it. You have a zeal. So we know what a zeal is. We know this is not our word, but this is the word they're rendering, saying this is the closest thing they have to express what our actual word would be. Okay, I know. So let's go look at our word. Right now, let's get you to understand English before you move into Wales. Okay? Now make sure you understand this before we move on, because that's going to be another complexity that we got to unravel. All right, come on. So now he's saying, for I bear, I bear them record that they have a zeal of All of an enthusiasm. They have an energy. They have an energy toward their object or the objective of Allahim. Okay? So what would be the objective of Allahim for us? To be saved. To be saved. Uh, for Dash. No, the objective would be to keep the Torah. That's what he gave us to save us. He gave us something to save us, which is to keep the Torah. That's, that's the first thing I think we want to just kind of get down to understand. The objective would have been whatever order he lays down, okay? He can tell me, my objective is you to be saved. How? By keeping, by implementing, okay? By consistency. Y'all got it? By not diverting from, okay? So the objective is to make sure we got it. If you want salvation, there's something entails to it in order to attain salvation, we have to understand the Torah. We know this because Yahushua went back over it with the Talmudim, which were the taught ones. It only makes sense to go back over it because this entails the objective of how to be saved. Y'all got it? We have to believe on him, among him how? You ain't got to worry about that if you get saved. 
All that is obsolete. You don't have to worry about believing nothing. All you have to do is just get Ruach HaKadosh. How you going to get that? Because he give it to them that do what? And where you going to get your... So you got to have an order. You have an order, okay? This is how he he set up. For those that want salvation, you can only obtain it one way. You have to follow the strict ideals of the Torah. Y'all got it? And you got to have the will. You got to have the will. You got to have the desire. This ain't something you just for. But what, what we do, think about it. Now, the zeal, for what we understood what a zeal was, or energy or enthusiasm toward an objective, okay? So here he said, I ain't sure about them. I bet them witness. So I can testify to the energy. I can testify to the enthusiasm that they have toward the world. Elohim. It's of Elohim. But not according to knowledge. Can we look up what knowledge is? I know we looked up before. Let's make sure we understand it. Because that'll happen to us a lot of time. We have a lot of energy toward. I, I just know I just won't be saved. But where's your knowledge? Let's see what he said. Let's see. Knowledge is facts, information, skills acquired by a person through experiences or education, the theoretical theoreticals. Or particular, uh, what is that, practical understanding of a subject. And that's what we don't have. He said, that's what I reckon I they don't have. Enthusiasm, energy, but they don't have facts, information. So what did that tell us? Good answer. We need to be taught. We need to be taught. Think about that. They had an energy toy. They had enthusiasm toy, and it was of Elohim but they didn't have facts and they didn't have information. Okay? How many of y'all read this before? Looking at it in this light, is it the same? Looking at it when you start to look up what words mean from an English context and an English dialect, this, is, this shows you there's a danger and we might break out into the mark and you might get woo and get your energy going and flowing and you going and you know what you look at? I bet record it's a zeal and it's of all in. But it ain't according to knowledge and facts, information. That's dangerous. That's dangerous. So his witnesses of the enthusiasm, also, then he also is a witness of the fact that you don't have facts. You don't have information, and you haven't acquired the skill. You have not acquired, you have not acquired the skill. Hello? And that's something we're trying to make sure we don't be guilty of. See, what we don't want to confuse our skill or acquirement because we don't learn some words. I learned they mean the Alberim, but you can't obey in English, and you can't obey in the flesh. So what good old words if you learn how to speak them, every one definition, but you still ain't obeying, which means you just learn how to recite some words, you do not have facts and information, and you have not acquired the skill. That's knowledge. So our goal is to make sure we acquire the knowledge so we can obtain what his, if his palau for Yasharal and his desire was that they might be saved, so there's probability. If you're sick, you say, am I going to get better? I said, well, you might get better. That tells you you can get better. That's a, pol- it's a probability. That's a possibility. He said, I'm praying for them to get it because they, they do have enthusiasm. It's an energy. Y'all got it. Energy is important. That's what you need to know. That's how things operate and move. It's not just by, en- not by electricity. Energy. It's important for us to know. What you put out, what you obtain, what you get, energy. Y'all got it? People get weak, they need food, they say, man, I'm so I can pass out. I need to get something to eat. Why? Need energy, but they don't use it that way. They just say, because I'm starving. No, you need energy. Your body's gassing out. You don't have it. And you know what happened after a period of time? Your energy, your enthusiasm will play out if you don't get a skill set. You don't have a skill. Got it? Because you need to be able to keep replenishing. See, that's the difference. Let's see something right quick at 730. We'll come back. You can have 730. Let's look it up. Let's make sure we got it right. How about that? Some thirty. All right. All right. Listen. He that aman on me, as the katab hath said. 
out of his belly shall, shall flow in the heart of Kai Mayim. So, I'm going to say, I guess I'm kind of looking at this. Let's see what he says. So, he that Amon on me, what they use, believe, believe it. And the point of realizing they use certain things supposedly, and even when they put the TH on the end, that means continual. Well, you know that, that can true? Yeah. Believe is just one. Because you, I can believe. I say, you know what? I believe you. Then later on, I can come along. You say something. I say, I don't believe what you say. He said, he's a liar. He said he believed you. I believed him on that particular issue or that particular statement. That does not mean I continue to believe everything he says or that person says. So the fact that they put the TH on it, see, this is what people say. saying. I believe. Your problem is you have to believe it. According to English definition, you have to continue. See, the reason why you look at things like that, because now he's talking about out of here better shall flow Nahar, nah, probably Naharim, I'm thinking, plural, because the S of. So when does it stop? They continue. So the continue stop because you continue to believe. He said he that believe, then all of a sudden he's going to get this continual believing, this continual flowing. No, his belief is continual, so what he'll obtain from me will continue. Y'all got it? Wow. Guess what I want to do? I want to believe and get everything, whole world. So you can stop too. That has to be a constant. Y'all got it. It has to be a constant for this to work. Y'all got it. And that's what we got to make sure we're getting. So he that among on me as the continue to believe in me as the Katab had said, the scripture had said, out of his belly, Shall flow Nahreen. I think it's Nahreen. What's, it, what's the plural for river? Nahar? A different word for plural on that? So Nahar, tell me, because in the New Testament they call it. It's a, uh, go ahead. All right. When you talk, if you could, whenever you talk, you let me hear you in the mic so they'll know. So you don't mind, that way they can hear you too. So Nahar is one of them, underground, uh, river, or uh, underground. Yeah, or is the word. Hmm. A yeah, this, channel. This is one uh, one version. Of it. Okay. Canal, shaft, denial, as one river of Misraini playing Egypt, including its collateral trenches, the Tigris, as the main river of Assyria, that they call it. Brook, flood, river, stream. Probably flood. Oh, that's what James is rendering. Okay. Yeah, or is the word. Yes, sir. Call them. Sigal. Shiva. Is he saying this is silent? The E is silent. This is Shiva? Oh, yes, sir. Shiva. So he's saying the E is silent. Y'all got that? Y'all should already have the chart. Am I correct? So y'all should know this. I want, we, we, we rushed it because we don't. This is Shiva. So what he's saying with the yard, he's saying the yard is still the yard, but the E is silent. They only wrote this so you would learn how to enunciate it in phonics, the phonics spelling. So they're saying that the E is silent. Then we get to the olive. He's saying that the olive is kolom, which he's saying that your U, the U sound that you say will be there, he said it makes an O sound in enunciation. So some people go in there, throw a U right here, but he's actually telling you, it's not even a U there. They're just telling you that it makes an O sound. There's an O sound coming behind it. Correct, Boston? Yes, sir. It's not the O. Like they, sometimes they'll put the O, and they may put some over saying there's an O here, which they'll say the U, but it's actually making a V sound. Here he's telling you it's not there, but if you enunciate it, the way they enunciate it, it's actually make, it makes an O sound. Y'all got it? Oh, hello? I'm trying, I want to just make sure what little I know we imparted so we all better. See, this is something I want y'all guys to learn because I don't know how long I'm going to be with y'all, but I want y'all to pay attention to this stuff because you need to know it. 
See, I, I was, I'm, I'm a major critic of them, but at the same time, you got to have a little understanding about what you criticize. Otherwise, you're just a critic of something. You got some people don't like nothing. You ask them why they really can't explain because I don't like it. That's not a reason for everything. Either the taste, the color, or it does something to you. Some things you might say, I don't like it because why? It makes me sick because of reasoning. Why? I just don't like it. You can get away with that with certain things, but when it comes down to education or it comes down to the things that deal with your salvation, all of us, we need to kind of be open-minded enough to where you don't close your mind to where you miss something you need and you'll spend a lot of time arguing and fighting something that you need to understand. So when you do argue it and fight it, you at least understand why. Y'all got, there needs to be a rationale and not just, I just don't like, now, now I've been that person. So th that's where change has to come in. Don't mean you're accepting of everything. You just need to know why certain things are the way they are, okay? They code things in life for us. They code them in conversation. Why do you think the police talk? They'll say certain things on the radio. They don't just straight say, hey, hey, Ray got shot. He laying out here. They'll say a number. So other people who are, who's in that, you know what I'm saying, in that community understand someone was shot. You, you might understand black male. So, so, so. There's other codes they'll use towards certain lingo for the crime or whatever because they look at this is how we talk. This is our language. And people criticize it because they don't understand it. When you understand it, then you say, okay, again, they use numbers to code. Same thing you do with a computer. You press the letters, you actually press the codes. They just put letters there because you spell it what you do. The, the computer does not recognize your letter. It recognizes codes. Most of these people don't know that. I don't know anything about computers, but I guarantee you I'm going to send a lot of these people ever get. Because they actually think they push an A, the computer recognizes the letter A, and it does not. It recognizes a code. They put those letters there because that's how you spell. Make no mistake, that computer does not. You press the letters, they're hitting codes. That's a lot of stuff they don't know about it. Because they think they're smart than me. They waste their time. If I was you, I wouldn't waste my time because I don't even know what all I know. I thought, I'm thinking about going home and teach myself how to serve. <laughs> I might teach my, I might just break up, just go home and just teach myself some stuff I don't know for no reason. Just so I know that I know it, that I do know it. You know what I'm saying? And then I know that I know it. Because I taught myself that's how I know it. So see Nahar here? Nahar, what is this right here? Good one. Good one. Patak. What is Patak? What you say? Ha. Huh? What is Patak? That's the long A. Commits is the short one. Patak is longer. So they'll tell you now. When you come to him, you say naha. You say how you naha. So they say no, ah, ah, no. They'll tell you that when you're enunciating it, because you put this is this someone do. When we look at a word, we try to figure out how to spell it. Now white people know because they talk, they conversate with them to show them how to do it. When we use plain English, we don't get vowel points. Vowel points will give it away. Like me, I already know what the vowel point is telling me. If you just sometimes you just see this word, you don't know what it is, it'd be different. Somebody might try to enunciate it with the N A H. Or they might just pronounce the N-A. Or they might wonder, is it just the N, then the A-H makes a sound. So when they code and they put certain things, it lets them know how to do it. They got the same thing. Think about it. You in school, they teach you vowels. Mm -hmm. They ain't never teach you what a vowel was other than what it was. They teach you what distinguish or what separates a, not, a consonant from a vowel. Can we all agree they never taught us that? Never taught me. Never knew it. All I knew was A-E-I-O-U and sometimes when I assure you, that's as much as you're going to get out of me. Okay, you said B, a, a vowel, I'm gonna look at you and wonder, is this a trick question? Because <laughs> you should know that. Now, if you're gonna be the teacher, you asking me questions, you're gonna need to give me your check. Because they don't have me answering all these questions. <laughs> yeah, it don't make sense. I mean, uh, how do you spell that? The question is, how about you spell it? Because I'm like, they just gave you the job. I never checked you. You gave me a test, I ain't never give you one. See, they ain't think like that. That shut down a lot of stuff. Now me and the teacher got to sit there and look at each other. And wonder who's going to be doing the question answering around him. All right, so just showing you, like, the phonics of how they do stuff. They show the phonics. We try to get into a lot of stuff. But with this, it, let, it lets them know. So when you're doing the noon, the noon, what they call it, which they'll put an end for it in their English. So he said when you enunciate it, it's going to be the A actually makes a longer sound. So these are things that code for them. So now when you get to the, the ha, as we calling it, he letting you know when it come in. Now it got that another A coming into the sound. 
Y'all got it. So this letter is not here. When you're writing from the, when you're writing from the, mount, the modern, the only thing we will put here is the noon, the ha, and the, the rosh. Okay? So with putting this, putting the uh, vowel point, it helped them understand how to enunciate it. Preacher, preacher real quick. This is, this is an example to where if you look at it, yeah. you see this word right here. If you, we go back to two different words, you'll okay. still see the same uh, child root, a parent root. With the, with the noon, the ha, and the rosh, yep. but the, but the uh, pronunciation to change. That's three different words. Show the other one, and I want you to finish explaining. See? Now, what's the other one you showing? You had it just on. Y'all see that? So I spell it right here. But he's letting you know that sheep is him. See, he don't have to write N E. You see what he's telling on him? What he's showing you in the funny. Just because he put Shiva. He, he said, I ain't got to put one. When you enunciate this word, he said, when you do this one, it's, it's got like a, a E sound, but it's not that. It's silent. You know what I'm saying? You ain't trying to make these sound. It's silent, but it's there. He puts so much craftiness in what he does. How do we know this? If somebody teach you, he does that much. This is why he does this. He, know, he can look right. You say, wow, white people know everything because he taught himself vows in a different point of view. He learns when he enunciates. You know what I'm saying? I, it's not restricted. He said it's not, it's not restricted. It's there, but it's, it's, it's silent. You know what I'm saying? It's, you got to kind of pay attention on how to enunciate it. So then he finds he does it. Nihar. Got the nun sound already. He's saying the E is kind of silent, but it's there. You know what I'm saying? It's not, it's not a loud E like uh, uh, Suray. We talked about that. Y'all remember that? It's a longer E sound. We talk about like if you're enunciating the word eight. Can y'all say eight? Eight. Okay. Let's do it. That was a really hard T at the end. I was really not trying to get that much T. But he said, Tah. Yeah, I ain't no other like, Tah. Yeah, no, but do, uh, so you're doing it. We're going to enunciate the E and just the I. So what are you going to say? Yeah. yeah. That's you say A? Yeah. Eight, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what he's saying. When you enunciate it, he's saying you're enunciating it with the E and kind of the I sound, just into the almost to the I sound. So that's how he learns how to code certain things. Y'all got it? So it's just little stuff that we try to try to learn. And go ahead, boss. You finish explaining what you were saying. Now, I was just I was just showing the different ways, yeah. Yeah. three different words that's written. To it's written. It's different in pronunciation of how they pronounce it. So this is the root, the root word of the first one we saw. And, and now, on this box, look here. See, now he came, he used commits. He's saying that you do have, you still making the same sound, but now this is shorted. See, so mm -hmm. I came back, he did you. So, you. so now, this is how he can get you. He can put the word up there, and he'll pronounce it. He can enunciate it twice, and you'll try to figure. It was a little different, because he tell you there's a difference. I'm not saying what you're saying. I'm trying to tell you to sprinkle. You thinking I said something I didn't say. So he got now, he's telling you, okay, you still have an A sound here. Remember, y'all was doing patak. Patak is a long A, right? He just came here, he gave you commits. So commits is an A sound too. But guess what? It's a little shorter. That's how he gets you. So he just plays game. Look, now the difference in what you're saying, he could be telling you to be cheerful. You say, oh, you want a nigga to get wet. You want a nigga to flow. I got what you're saying. You want a nigga to start flowing. And that's what you thought because you didn't know he codes things for us. Y'all say, I get, just, look, look, a little changing of the sound makes a difference. And we know that is true because of what? Hands, 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 hands. Kevin, you got it. Kevin, you had your hand up or you faked me just then? Man, I seen that he did like that. Like, what? His hand up? All right, hold, hold on. How many of y'all want the right answer or the wrong answer? Which one y'all want, right or wrong? Right answer. All right, who? All right, now we got Dwayne and Chris. Right answer. Who y'all want? Y'all see? I want the right answer. Who y'all want? That tight, tight. Hold on, but they say who? That tight. That. All right, let's do this. So y'all see? Y'all want the right answer? Y'all see it, Chris? Hold on, but who y'all saying? How many? All right, how many hand for Dwayne? Okay. Where he been sat down from? <laughs> Whatever. All right, Dwayne. <laughs> He said he'll go over there. He said he'll get ready to be set. I don't know what you could come on. What's, what's your answer? Distinction of the sound. I thought about the uh, first Corinthians. About the well, I knew you'd get it. And that's the truth. 
We already had the answer. <laughs> yeah, somebody stepped ahead in. But that, that's right. So that, that shows us which makes sense. He said, except it gives a distinction in the sound. How can you know? Because there are some instruments that are similar almost in sound. So there's a distinction in each, each one of them. That just shows you there has to be a distinction. That's what separates them. So now when you start saying some word, certain words, they can be spelled alike, but it can be announced differently. Y'all got it? Depending on how it's being used. You're like reading red. Depending on where you're putting it at. We can do reading red. I'm getting ready to read a book. You know what I'm saying? But I have read the book. Yeah, like I said, so then they start teaching you on depending on where the word is placed. See, these are all things written in school. We learn some stuff, but you don't pay attention on. They can trip you up with that. When is it read or read? Those are important little things we start learning because the people that took us captive, it's all coded against us. You came into a dialect that's not your... Let me tell you something. Okay. The nigga's been here for, what, over 200 years, okay? The nigga is still as far behind as he's been because he constantly keeps changing. Some of the information you get becomes antiquated. This is what they do from, from police to federal. After a period of time, you get out, they start changing information. You'll be people say, yeah, and then they'll find out something. You know, they say, oh, oh, back when I was a police, it was a back when I was a police. You keep changing your information. I can't afford to keep the same old information. You gone. How do I know you won't turn? So you got to keep changing your information. They know you start grasping certain things, so you keep changing concepts. So when you come up and think you're going to learn something, it's antiquated. We move past that. It's too late for you. They make sure they keep their people up to date. By the time you get something, it's a scam. Come out there. This why I got to show you this scam. I assure you don't do it. It's old. They already know about it. By the time they hand it to a nigga, it's been played out. You're going to jail. All right, I'm just telling you the truth. Whenever we get in, I don't care what it is, you're never going to get in there on the, on the start. Out, it's going to be right. They don't operate like it. I don't care if the white people that like it. When they tell you about something, I assure you, them and theirs already done worked it. They ain't going to never come. I'm just coming up with this. Ain't nobody, nobody but me and you. They don't operate like that. You do that. You just learn. You just share. They wait. Make sure the whole family, all their friends, everybody hate white. Then they come find niggas say, I like you, nigga. I want to turn you on to this new thing. And you go to jail. They say, yep, it worked. Man, I got caught, got jammed up. All information. All of us got it. They're like, we moved away from it. I'm just telling you, it's a lot of information, but y'all ain't going to believe me. I ain't going to tell you about it. Don't worry about it. All right? So, I, I appreciate that. It's good for us to know these things. It's, we'll go back. So, the one we said we're going to use was uh, Yeor, is the word we're saying here for the flowing or flood. James will run the flood. All right? So, this is what we're looking at. He that continues to believe in me, as the Qatar had said. So, now, What's going to keep the belief? Continue. What's going to keep it? Hearing. I agree. Yes. The worship, the work we put behind. What, what I say right here, what, what's going to do that? What's going to continue to enhance it is the fact that you're continuing going back over the guitar. So if you continue reiterating the word, then the same behavior should happen. Okay, let's look at this. How many of y'all watch Popeye's say the man? He only eats spinach one time. What time? What, what happens when he ate spinach? Get strong. So when the situation came up, what did he do? So, so the same behavior would happen. So think about this. What if he never stopped eating the spinach? When, now think about when was he eating the spinach? When he was in trouble. When he was in trouble. Then he remembered to... Get the spin or try to get to the spinning so he can rescue himself from whatever the situation was. So think about that. I'm constantly keep getting in trouble. Why am I going to eat spinning every time I get in trouble? What if I ate the spinach continually? What would happen when the situation? I wouldn't be in a situation where Brutus got me beat down onto my lab breath. Then I got to jump up at the lab minute, try to come out of that thing and start, I'm pepper out of sailor, man. If I stay on it, guess what? I could deliver myself, I wouldn't even find myself in the predicament. Now you got to look at, you go back when things happen, things overtake you. You're a Popeye. When are you using the word? 
when I'm in trouble, when stuff ain't going right, when I'm down at my lowest. How about if you, and that gets, and that's what always seemed to work to get me back up. What if I continually to read? See, some stuff don't make sense. It don't make sense to keep, it, I know it's a nice, it's a cartoon some people. I guess something I look at, why you just look at logic of it. It really teach you to, and it taught a kid, you know what I'm talking about? Man, come on, all y'all come jump on top of me and throw me on the ground. Then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be like, Papa, I'm going to get my spin. Why do I need to be thrown on the ground? Why do I need people to stomp me? I stomp, start stomping me out and get up. You know what I'm saying? It's just, why when you keep yourself in a readiness? The book even told us, and having in a readiness to do what? When what happened? I'm finna run out here right now, I'm finna bend myself a battle. What I need to make sure? What's gonna happen? I ain't no van. How about we look at that? What you said, Jay May said, before I go run, try to jump, get in a situation, won't I make sure I'm where I need to be first? Don't the Bible say something about I can overcome all that I can do? <laughs> yeah, if your obedience fulfilled. I'm just using something. All the stuff we try to take out and hold the word to, it doesn't make sense unless we're actually using application. Let's see something. Since he brought that up, how about that? Then we'll look at something real quick. This is the 10th chapter, 2 Corinthians. I got to get y'all finished out here. 2 Corinthians. I know I'm boring y'all, 2 Corinthians. Some of us, I should have had COVID. I could have stayed home. <laughs> 24. You'd be surprised what my members have. Uh-huh. Let's see. I think I ought to move over now. We'll see. This is 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4. Let's see what I want. Let's see. How about that? Let's see. Listen. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Mm -hmm. Y'all see that? Are not carnal. But mighty through Elohim. To what? The pulling down of strongholds. Uh-huh. Casting be, oh, yeah, go ahead. Casting down imaginations. Oh. And every rush thing. Hold on, did they say casting out imagination? I don't know if they said that. Hold on. He said, hold on. He said, hold on. I'm sorry. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty to Elohim unto the pulling down of what, fortifications, destroying counsel. It said pulling down the strongholds. He said destroying counsels, which we talked about. Counsel is recommendation, recommendation for course of behavior. How do you think you get into fornication? This is something you think about. People say, well, other people. I mean, you can, you can get a counsel yourself. Mm -hmm. It's got to be a thought. It's got to be an idea whether it's, whether it's been uh, asserted from someone else or it's something you take on yourself. So you got to start doing it. Then how do you stop it? Because a lot of times we get people that say, man, I, I'm going to get up here. I'm going to confess I messed up. So then if we learn how to use the weapons we've been given, then we can pull that down. Just because something comes to your mind, you don't have to activate on it. People are like, well, you know, thoughts start, be coming in my mind. Well, how you know it worked? How you know it worked? So, so since he done gave me the weaponry, how, how do I know they work unless I use? That's what Daoud, that's why he wouldn't go. What our problem is, you trying to run out with fight with something, you hadn't even proved it yet. That's why Daoud wouldn't go. He said he'll say to. I started to go with those weapons. He said, but I hadn't tested them. I don't know if they work. So the only way to know if it works, so when thoughts come to my mind, anything, commit adultery, um, I never have to just make it smoking crack. Anything. That's some other people here. But um, whatever it might be, okay? Is it homosexual? Whatever it could be. So they come to my mind. For, oh, you know what? I ain't going to be saying, y'all. Stuff be coming to my mind. I, I ain't going to be saying. I know I ain't going to be saying. Why is it coming to my mind? Let me ask you a question. For the weapons of our warfare, our fight, are not carnal, but mighty through mighty to Elohim, unto the pulling down of the, what fortified, what builds itself up against us. Destroying counsel. That's what I do. Any buildups come, we tear it down. If things come into our mind, whether it's recommended from something, you said, the book said, if, if Kata'im enticed it. Wow, how you gonna do that? You gotta do it through, you gotta do it to Elohim. Who gave you the recommendation? Who the one recommend you not to do it? Man, you know what, man, the other day, hypothetical day, man, Darren came over with some holes, some beer, man, I must ain't going to be saved. Why all the he let them say What did I do? I ain't consent. I held out. It was hard, though. What? <laughs> That's what they're trying to tell you. You're using the web. It works. 
I got to be sure to say I've resisted. That's how I know. Y'all get, a lot of y'all waiting on the next storm. You already falling before it comes. Now y'all set up for the next storm to fall. You waiting on the fall. Versus when it comes, how's I'm going to know it works? I got to be able to test it. I got to be able to test it to know it works. So he's going to look, I gave you some. You need to know it works. That's where my confidence builds up at. Okay? Come on, finish this out. Weapons are warfare, not mine, or to count, my uh, counter mighty through Allahim or to Allahim. They're pulling down to strongholds, destroying councils. Come on. Casting down imagination. Casting down imagination. And every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of Allahim. And so, bringing uh -huh. into captivity every thought to the obedience of Mashiach. Okay. And every high and every high that exalted itself against the, what do we say knowledge was? That's a skill level. That's also a skill level, that's a fact, and that's information. So if some come to tell me to do something wrong, that's going against a fact. That goes against a skill set. That's go, that goes against what I've been taught. See, we don't understand that way. We just feel cold, close and butter. No, that's the purpose. Of, it makes sense that he said, and it's written in the Nabaeen that they shall all be so every is therefore that had heard and had learned because they've obtained a skill set. They have knowledge. They have information. You don't come because you don't have information. You don't come, you haven't obtained the skill, you haven't acquired the skill set. Y'all got it. So now since I have it, once I've learned what's of him to do in order to obtain the information, this is his objective. Okay? This is the objective that he set to you obtain salvation through the teaching, through the information. Y'all got it? So when something comes against that, what do I do? That's my wife. I ain't got a, man, I knock a nigga out. Well, let's go again. He said, because the weapon is not carnal. It's to use now, because everything don't deserve a fight, a punch, or a kick, but it deserves your resistance, because it goes against the knowledge of. And a lot of times people say, you know, I'm trying to be ready. Somebody come and they're going to tell me. Somebody gonna... But if you don't have the skill set, if you don't have the information, if you haven't acquired it, you can't do it. That's, you're going to constantly give in. You can tell yourself whatever lie you want to. You have to be taught in order to be able to resist. Okay? You can sit around. You can start fasting all you want to. I'm going to tell you, go ahead and eat and double up. Because you got to make sure you get this information. That's how you're going to beat them with information. Okay? Let's see something right quick. The fourth chapter. I know I said that. I'm trying to be quick. Fourth chapter of the book of Matthew Yahoo. Four and four. You heard it before. Matthew 4 and 4. Four and two. Back me up right quick. All right, we'll try to run down through this. Listen. And when he had fasted 40 Yamin and 40 Layla, Mm -hmm. He was afterward and hungry. He was hungry. What happened? And when the tempter came to him. Oh, he's tester. Well, look at it. It's coming to test. Let's see what happened. He said, if thou be the ben of Allahim. Do what? Command that these abund be made lakam. Well, I make these stones bread. Uh -huh. But he answered and said, it is katab. He shall not kai by lakam alone, but, but by every debar that proceedeth out of the paw of Allahim. If you, how many y'all? If you, you made the statement and you felt, or you felt like you've been so hungry, if you don't eat nothing, you're going to die. You, you're so hungry, you don't care what it is right now. You need to eat something. That's all you know. For the day, for the night, scene eight. What was his mindset? I'm Jesus, the son of God. I ain't hungry. My stomach don't growl. No one says this. This man was starving just like you. He had absolutely nothing different than you in his hunger. He had no spiritual food in his belly. He was starving, his stomach was growling, and the man was hungry, and he was thirsty. You ate for 40 days. These folks can put in their mind they want, oh, but see, he the son of God. This is how they make you the son of a, you know what it is. But this is what you got to come into the knowledge of. He was every point tempted just like us. But because he had obtained a skill set and the knowledge he had, he was willing to hold to that more and look at what you're giving me to do goes against what's solid for me. What works toward my, this is his objective. That I don't have confidence in myself or in my ability, but my confidence be in your debar. Because it, it all, this is the depending factor on whether or not you make it. 
If you guys don't get this understanding, well, it's myself when I say you guys, I'm always inclusive, that um, you, this is the only way you're going to get it. And it's going to run you through a set or a series of tests, ideas, to see whether or not you are hobby. To the very fraction of everything in you. I mean, sometimes I look at what some of y'all, I told you, don't even worry about it. There will be no test. Your test will be very basic because that's your skill set level. You're not going to actually go that far. You're not going to actually be the person that's actually going to hold on to the end. Some will be pushed to a high level. It's just, it's got to be because of where we at. You can sit where you at. It's got to prove every one of us out. Don't let that alarm you or scare you. You need to know. This salvation that people just going to pop up on out of nowhere don't exist. The salvation you're going to attain is going to be the same way everybody that got it going to get. It's going to be according to the writings. Okay? We all got to be pushed to those levels to know where, you got to know for yourself whether or not you can do it. You got to know for yourself. Read them something. Can you do a backward flip? Because you read it in a book? Because you've seen it on TV? Do you have any doubts about doing a backward flip? Do you want to? Man, I might, not ever, I might not ever be able to do a backward flip. Why not? Why you don't want to? You might not never be able to do it. And you gain that confidence through the ability of doing it, having the ability, being tested, tried to do it. <clears throat> it's going to be the same thing with salvation. You got to know you can do it. That's going to be, that's part of the skill set. That's part of the knowledge. That's part of what we're trying to obtain. That's the objective to make sure we know this and get it. And it's, that's what he wanted to make sure we understood because everything's going to come. It ain't always going to be people. It's going to be you. You're going to be your biggest critic. You're going to be your biggest hater. You're going to be the biggest holdback of yourself sometimes. Don't always look for other people. That's why I got people. That's why I stay to myself, and that's why you defeated. Some of them here, I white folks say, I know they defeated. They don't fool me. I know you defeated because you left your own devices. Most dangerous thing you can do is stay to yourself. Listen. Yes, the, the purpose of communicating or communication is to express opinions. All your opinions. Or your facts. You've never bounced them off anybody else. You know, all women hoes. Who, who did you get this from? They all of them, every one of them, gold diggers. Who did you get this from? Because your opinions are your facts. You never bounce them off anybody else so you can get a better directive on what you're doing, how you're looking at things. It's the matter of what you're trying to do and how you're trying to tear, how you're trying to attack it. A lot of times, some come and say, it just make up for lazy work. I'm lazy. I can't put the work in. Same thing with salvation. You quit. You can't put the work in. You don't want to do it. I got the time. I can put it in. I ain't got nothing else more pressing than my salvation. Y'all got it. It's knowledge. We got, what did we say knowledge was? Facts. facts. What did we say? Facts. Information. Skills acquired by, by a person through experience or education. That's why I said they all got to be taught of them. That's key. There's no way you can get it. First, say, yeah, you know what I'm saying? You've been taught. Say, I don't, I don't know no word. I, you, how much further do I have? I have absolutely no conversation because I already know you don't know what you're talking about. It makes no sense. And that's what he, this is what identifies us. This is part of what he used to identify you. This is DNA for him. You can run just like Shao. He told you about them. They had a zeal. Now, who, who wouldn't want enthusiasm for Elohim? How many times we confuse people running around rooms and shout as they say? What we say they were? They were saved. Why else would they be doing it? Because they had a th enthusiasm, but they didn't have a skill level. They hadn't acquired a skill. They hadn't had all the information. And that's what he's trying to tell us. And we want to obtain that information so we're not some people with just some theatrics or dramatics. Y'all got it? Okay. Let's come on, finish this up. So, just showing you something. Who answered and said, It is written, not in bread alone doth each man live. I read it, it is, but in every word that proceeded from the mouth of Allahim. Let's see what happened. Listen. Then Satan taketh him up into the Kadash city and setteth him on a pinnacle of the mosque. Say that would be like the, the top, you know, the pinnacle on the top, very top of it. Go ahead. I know some sisters that like to be up there. Go ahead. And saith unto him, if thou be the being of Allahim, do what? Cast thyself down. For what? It is Katah. See, now pay attention. 
He now, shall. Listen, hold on. Listen, listen what he told you. <laughs> listen now. Where did he take him to? Highest point. And then what he did? What did he tell him to do? Cast down. Your boy just told you to cast down. What did he tell you to cast down? Every imagination, counsel, anything that height that that heightened itself again. Look what the first thing he did. Amazing what he told you. What did he tell you, Yahushua? Highest point. And what he told him to cast down? The knowledge of Allahim? That's what they do. You know what we do, boss? The average us and him, we, we suicide. See, the book told you what to cast down. Once you cast down that information and stop making it your quit, it's your time to quit. I ain't gonna, I know, you get out. See that? He told you what to cast down, not yourself, but the knowledge that goes against these so called facts he giving you because Satan can't do that. He didn't tell him that. He didn't tell him. No, the Satan never told him one time when he gave him in Shamaim. Did he tell what he can do for him in Shamaim? Did he tell him he could put him over Allahim? He don't just lie about everything, huh? He told him what he can do right here. That's a fact. How y'all think these people hold their position now? Did Satan tell him he could take um, stones and turn to bread? Satan told him to do it. Why? Because I know you could do it. Oh, you know, the devil lie about everything. He can't make you nothing and set you over none of this stuff down here. People sell out for it all the time. Rappers, singers, entertainers, athletes, business owners, people for relationships. People do it all the time. People do it all the time. So that's what I'm trying to get you to realize. Now, let's go ahead. So I'll go ahead and run. For it is written that he had given his Malachi messenger charge over thee in their hands shall they bear thee up, lest perhaps thou dash thy foot against a, a bond for stone. Go ahead. Yahushua said unto him, uh -huh. it is Katab again. What? Thou shalt not tempt Yahuwah thy Allahim. He said, don't test him on what he said. Not in the manner where you try to go against him and that his word ain't what he said it was. See, it, it sounds like this. I'm confused. He say, test, test. Test, don't test. Don't test me if I say, kid. Like you tell you, you ever told your kid that sometimes don't do something? And he said, don't, don't play with me. You tell him don't test you. Because I told you not to do something. Now, he told you when to test him. If you do what I told you, test me on that I'll reward you like I said. So what people do because they're clumsy in ideas. I'm confused. The Bible, they say, test, don't test. test, test. I don't know when to do it. You don't want to know. Because now you're responsible. Now you got to think. So he ain't never contradicted himself. Don't tempt me on what I told you not to do. Because I'm going to do what I told you. And I'm going to be, I'm going to be swift on it because of the fact you pushed me in that position. But test me on what I told you. If you keep this, I'll take sickness from him. Niggas don't never do that. I'll take sickness from among you, disease. None of yours will give their yarn before time. Nigga, you never send about, hey man, let's do that. Let's test him on it. Let's, let's, make, let's do everything he told us and see if he'll do it. They always want to go again. You won't find a group of people do that. Come on, next one. Eight, come on. Again, Satan taketh him up into an exceeding har, exceeding high har, mm -hmm. and sheweth him all the malkuth of, of the alarm, and the kaboot of them. See that? Then he showed, listen, he just showed, he showed them how fabulous they was too. Now, may Satan just show them to you. Look how fabulous they are. Come on. And saith unto him, All these things will I give thee, if thou wilt fall down in Shekami. So he showed them all of the Malkut and Shamaim and told them. And ask yourself this. This is what he, for the heaven go up. Why would he be showing a man who's trying to be an emperor in Shamaim, the Malkut down here? Because this way he come to set. He trying to show, I can give you that. He was showing, why he didn't show him a miracle? He showed me the reason where he going to be sitting at. He going back, he going to come and sit right here on the throne of Daoud. He showed him right in Jerusalem. Why wouldn't he show him a miracle? He was showing, everything he's showing, it makes sense. This is what you're down here for anyway, right? So it's a way to obtain things, but you got to know how to do it, like he said, lawfully. He said, that's the way you crown a man. That's what Shaul said. You used to race, right? So if I struck out a second before you, my foot touched the line, I still get the same win? Disqualified. They say, I'll be arguing, I'll ring you, though. That's false. You got to give me that. That's a, I can't be crowned. You're going to only crown the person that did it lawfully. How you think you going to get it? How you think he's going to get it crowned? 
he made sure he didn't scratch on takeoff. Come on, it's certain things. They're qualified. It's a lot of folks ran a good race. Then they went found out you had some enhancements. But I won, though. He should have. It did qualify you. We got rules set against it. That man had to make sure he covered every rule. Hello? He the man around and got that wine in his system at the town folks tried again. He have disqualified himself. Been an enhancement. Okay. That's how y'all want to do it. And you're going to try to get it. And I'm telling you, you got too many violations. You can't obtain it. I'm trying to help you. And he said to him, all these will I give thee, if falling down, thou wilt adore me. Just like Shuk Shakar me. Come on. Then saith Yahushua unto him. Do what? Get thee hence. Be Satan. gone. Satan. Why? For it is Katab. What? Thou shalt Shakar Yahuwah thy Elohim, and him alone shalt thy, shalt thy serve. He could have just said that. Be gone. End that, right? Because you know why he would have did what he was doing? Because he didn't have weapons. It wasn't carnal. Be gone is just a carnal word. I'm going to come right back with what I've been taught. That's my skill set. They tell you, once you fight with something else, that's all I know to use. All he did was just like Dawood. You couldn't give him nothing else. What he said? What he said? What are you? He said, been working. Why I'm going to try something new? Every time you ask me, I'm coming right back with the word. So my, that's what Vinny came on, why he stood. Be gone. Stop. After a while, you ain't really got an argument. It is just your opinion. It's just it's certain thing you can say. Listen, it's certain stuff you can say. You say, like, hype there, say, man, what did he say? No. And he said, no. Why not, nigga? He might say, uh, why? but why? Why? Were you scared or something? So him, the way he answer, is going to keep make me push on him to engage him into. Versus he come with a direct, concrete reason why, I move on. Move on. That's what he got him to do, using the weapons right. The only reason why it went this long is keep showing you. Check how you use it one time. I mean, it's going to stop. You know what they're going to tell me? I use it. How that? Let me smoke a cigarette. No. I fail. I tried to resist, y'all. Nigga, you had the thing in the light. Went, you didn't even try. Somebody come back with a bill. Now, they're, they're too tiny. The Lord must want me to fall. Why he wasn't saying that? Mm. He must want me to fall. Why the thing? Why he going to keep coming back again, again and again? I know I ain't finna be saved. Now, if it had just been one time, I knew I was gonna be saved. But it came back four times. He don't want me to be saved now. Why does he keep letting me get tested? Your, your rationale for your stupidity ain't adding up. And you're only stupid because you hadn't sat down and you don't have the proper information. That don't move me because he come with no one thing, two thing, three thing, five thing, six thing. That don't move me. I'm still gonna stand the same thing. Can't knock him, y'all. What happened? How many times he came out, he told him? And what he say he did? That way, every time he kept telling it, it written. Because it written. One thing Satan do, he know that book. He said, that's it, 13. <laughs> Isn't that right? I mean, I mean, that's it, every time he know what I'm going to do with it, book. You don't have a defense. That's why you give it. That's why it always came, because you don't have a defense other than, no, stop. But your, your answering is not, not strong or definitive enough to make the ensure or the persuader stop what they're doing. Okay? So then, look, be gone. All right, all right, let's see what happened after that. 10, 11. He should be back. One more time. Let's see. Then. Satan leaveth him, and behold. That's what I'm trying to show you, man. You got to use it. That's what I'm just showing. That's what happened. Look what happened. Malachi came and showed unto him. See, messages of Allah, he came to strengthen him. That's why you got to be a rabbi telling him. Why he ain't go strengthen himself? He Allah, he Why he need folk to talk to him? Yeah, I don't be liking to talk to people. I like to stay by myself. Yeah, that's what I do. I get myself strong like that. I stay to myself and do it. You think I pay y'all baboons any attention? Why these baboons think they're smarter than me? That man had to get, let me see. How many came? One of them? Messengers came and they, listen, these folks men strengthening. That's how you got strength back. When one, no, no, you can't get strong by yourself. Y'all think I believe you're strong? I know you're an idiot. It's impossible. It doesn't make sense. The man had to be strengthened. I've been going through it. You know what I'm saying? That's when you go in your secret closet. You and the Lord. Devil said, that's exactly what I need. This stupid nigga. In here, in the car, I'm going I'm to jack him up. You can't do it. You got to be strengthened. That's all you do. You need a messenger. That's all I got to communicate. You can't build yourself up. <laughs> Come on, folks. Come on right quick. Give me that right and get out of here. Give me that. Um, yeah, who's sure? I think it's 71. I think it's 7. Might be 9, 6, 7. Let me see what 71 say. How about, let's show you something. 
That's it. That'd be fine. Listen. Listen what happened now. Listen. When I would this have degree. healed Yahshua. This, this is the seventh chapter book of Ye uh, Yahushua. They call it Joshua. Oh. This one. You're in Rome. I was in Husha. Okay, Husha. Yahushua. They call it Joshua. Let me just show y'all something. Let's see what sure. happened. Listen. But the benim of Yahshua. Did what? Committed a trespass. Which means they did see that committed a trespass what? In the accursed thing. Yes, sir. Come on. For Akan, the Ben of Carmi, the Ben of Zabdi, the Ben of Zerah, of the Mata of Yehuda, took of the accursed thing. Okay. Uh huh. And the anger of Yahuwah was kindled against the Benim of Yahshua. They committed a foul. They went against. Violation. Come on. And Yahusha sent Anashim from Jericho to Ai, which is beside. Well, he put Gaia. They put Gaia. He put uh, Ai. Ai. They put his Gaia in the Greek. Uh huh. Which is beside Bethaven, on the uh, on the Kadim side of Bethal, mm -hmm. and spake unto them, saying, "Go up and view the country." And the Anashim. Went up and viewed God. They just made it shorter. What they say here in the Greek just shortened down, saying they spied out the land. Come on. And they returned to Yahushua and said unto him, What? Let not all the arm go up. Why? But let about two or three thousand on the sheen go up and, and smite Ai, mm -hmm. God. And, and siege the city. Come on. And make not all the arm to labor thither, for they are but few. I ain't put a few of them, Joe. Come on. So there went up thither of the arm about 3,000 Anashim, and they fled before the Anashim of God. Mm -hmm. And the Anashim of God smote of them about 30 and 6 Anashim, mm -hmm. for they chased them from before the doll, even unto Shabarim, and smote them in the going down. Wherefore the lob of the arm melted and became as Mayim. <laughs> Man, listen. Come on. And Yahushua rent his clothes and fell to the Arats upon his pani before the Taba of Yahuwah until the even tide. Yeah. He and the Zakanim of Yashara mm -hmm. and put dust upon their heads. Mm -hmm. And Yahushua said, Alas, O Yahuwah Elohim, wherefore hast thou, hast thou at all brought this arm over Yardan to deliver us into the hand of the Amorites to destroy us? Would to Elohim we had been content and dwelt on the other side, you're done. See that? They asking a he asking a question. Wouldn't it just have been better for us if we just stayed on the other side of your done? Other side of defend? Come on. Oh Yahuwah, what shall I say when Yasharal turneth their backs before their enemies? Mm -hmm. For yeah. the Canaanites and all the inhabitants of the Arat shall shama of it. And shall in, environ us round and cut off our shim from the Arat. And what wilt thou do unto thy great shim? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. Yahuwah said unto Yahushua, Do what? Get thee up. Come, nigga. Come on. Wherefore liest thou thus upon thy pani? I don't even want to know what you lay on the ground with your face in that dirt for. Come on. Yahshua hath kata. They have committed sin. They've sinned. What happened? And they have also transgressed my barit, which I amar them. For they have even taken of the accursed thing, and have also stolen, and disassembled also, and dissembled also, and they have put it even among their own stuff. They have put it right among their own stuff. Let's look at this again right quick. Second Corinthians chapter 10 and 4. Okay, let's see something. Now I'm trying to get ready to let y'all go. I tell you I want to be short, but I'm a little long. I apologize. Come on. Hold on. This is four? All right, listen. Come on. Weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through Elohim. To the what? Pulling down a strongholds. And? Casting down imaginations. So he's talking about destroying counsel. And what else? And every rash thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of Elohim. What would the knowledge they had been told? 
Don't touch it. Don't even take it. See, what, but guess what happened? Somebody told me it was okay. I don't see nothing wrong with it. Man, we got to get something for ourselves now. I mean, for, if, for the taking, we might as well get us something. We're going to do this stuff. See? And that's what happened to them. Somebody persuaded them to do it. And now he come back to tell you how the weapons of our warfare are not coming, but they might have threw or might have took Allahim to the putting down these strongholds and casting down counsel. Listen to what's happened. And bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Mashiach. You see what I'm saying? Listen to what happened. Bringing into captivity, he's saying every under the ability. Remember we talk about understand what the ability? Unto the obedience of the Mashiach. Listen when. And having in a readiness to do what? Revenge. All what? Disobedience. You know he did send Yasharal out to destroy the queen. Anybody know why? Exactly right. Because they wouldn't comply. That's why he sent them out to be the execution of all these other queen. But you know what they looked at? Having in a readiness to revenge all disobedience. When is it supposed to be? Your obedience is fulfilled. And that's when you fall to the ground and start asking you who or why. Why? Why you let me come all the way to Atlanta and come here and stuff ain't work out for me? I could have stayed where I was. And he want to know, what you crying at me for? You committed Qatar. Mm -hmm. You went against my barith. Mm -hmm. Worst move I made coming here. Look like all hell broke loose. Nothing ain't went right. You're exactly right. And you ain't went right either. Make sure you keep it all in content. See? And that's what they look. That's, look, what you, see how that was written for our learning? They trying to figure out what happened. We could have stayed on the other side of your done. It would be, when you, when it, better for us stay on the other side of your done than to come here, now they folk finna make it, now you gonna make it like it's so dry. We finna be serving these people. These folk finna rule. What about your name though? What about it? These folks see y'all ain't nothing but a bunch of clown niggas. Y'all done took something I told you not to take, and I'm going to make you fall because I will punish these people for their disobedience, and you disobedient. Now, why I said we probably have the ready to see they were going on. They were looking at it like, man, go take these folks down. They're avenging all disobedient. That's all they were going to do. They were avenging all disobedient. Yahuwah was sitting there saying, remember, I remember what he did. Go take them out. Go take them out. But along the way, they forgot. You yourself ain't in, you ain't in no order to try to correct nobody. You can't fix nobody. You out of order. So when all y'all come with their food, I know you done it. In here and out here, you just here, oh, put it's that level. Oh, you moved around me, everything changed. Look like nothing don't work out, you come in line. Ask what's that. So you've been obeying the whole time. And then you'll see a whole different outlook on that level. That whole, that's the whole thing. They ain't been obeying. Because it, it don't make sense everything crash, the whole world crash. It crash when you ain't doing what you're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. I'm put on line, you be where you at. You don't do what you're supposed to do, it's gonna crash. But see, that's what we look at. You trying to vent, you trying to do something, when your obedience is gonna be fulfilled. Make sense? Yes, that's two. Appreciate it.